told you about the Google Tag Manager. So I have told you how you can get Google Tag Manager platform. We have all created our Google Tag Manager platform, and I have told you that inside Google Tag Manager platform you can create unlimited accounts, and inside the accounts you can create unlimited containers. So my Google Tag Manager. If I will go to my Google Tag Manager, you will going to see this is the Google Tag Manager. You simply have to search in Google Tag Manager to again go to your Google Tag Manager platform. Here is the link. Uh, which says where okay, tagmanager.google.com. Just click here. Then, friends, it will going to take you to the panel of Google Tag Manager. Now you can see here it is showing all accounts. Okay, so whatever accounts we have inside Google Tag Manager, all will going to show up here. Now inside account, I have one account of Bing Commerce. So in Google Tag Manager platform, I have one account that is of Bing Commerce. Very simple. Now, for example, if I want to create one more container inside this account, so right now, as I told you that my this academy website, my this academy dot Bing Commerce dot in website, I have created one container for this website. You can see, friends, this is my website uh, that is academy dot Bing Commerce dot in. Okay, so this is my one website, and you here you can see inside this Bing Commerce account, I have this container name Academy dot Bing Commerce dot IN. Okay, so now for example, if I want to create one more container, so one container is created of Academy website. Now, for example, you want to create one more um, container of my main website. Okay, so I will now teach you how you can create more containers inside one account. So this is my Bing Commerce account, and this is the academy dot bing commerce dot in container. I will simply click here, and now, friends, here also you can see that we have this account, one account, and inside this account we have this academy dot bing commerce dot in. So, for example, this is my website, main website. I also want to create one separate container for this website. So again, it's very easy. What you need to do, you need to simply go to admin here. And from here you will see this plus button of container that means inside Bing Commerce account right now I have this container of academy.beingcommerce.in I want to add more containers so I will simply click here simply if you want to create more accounts of different different business then you can create it from here so for example from Bing Commerce I want to create one container so I will simply click on plus button and right now you can see this is my website I will simply copy the URL and I will going to paste the URL over here I will just remove this HTTPS and dash from here. Then from here you simply have to select web and you have to simply click on create. Now friends, similarly it will again going to give you some codes. You simply have to copy this code and you can also paste it these codes in your website. So I will going to log in to this website again. So I will simply go for pingcommerce.in, then I will put hash. Then I will put WP admin. Okay, so friends, this is my website. So right now we will not going to do it with the help of code. I have also teach you with the help of plugin also you can do this. So just click on OK. Now friends, you will going to see new container of Bing Commerce dot in and here is the GTM code. You can see when I will click here, here it is showing me that inside Bing Commerce account we have two containers that is academy dot Bing Commerce dot in and another is this container. Okay, so right now I am in this Bing Commerce dot in container. And this is the container name. I simply have to copy this. I will right click and I will copy this code of GTM of this uh, Bing Commerce dot in container. I will just go to my website. I will go to plugins. Click on add new. Again, just search here Google Tag Manager. Just install this plugin and then click on activate. So friends, this plugin is activated. So what I will going to do? I will just go to install plugins. And I will search for here that Google Tech Manager plugin. Where is that plugin? Okay, here is the plugin Google Tech Manager for WordPress. I will simply click on settings. And friends, here I need to paste this Tag Manager ID of this container Bing Commerce. So I simply have to copy this. I will go here and I will simply paste this. And then I will simply click on save changes. So friends, now you can see that my this beingcommerce.in container is now connected with my beingcommerce.in website. So this is the thing I want to teach you in this lesson where we have taught you that inside your platform you can create different different accounts. Inside accounts you can create unlimited containers you want. Okay, so 
you can create more for example if you have applications then for application you can create more container for example you have some other website of shop you can create one separate container for that and you can create unlimited containers inside one account so it is super simple to use this stuff now you can see when i will just go to google tag manager if i will click here now for example inside this bing commerce account if for example i want to go to academy.bingcommerce.in i will simply click on open now my academy.bingcommerce.in container will going to open you can see right now i am academy.bingcommerce.in container if you again want to go to some other container for example i again want to go to this bingcommerce.in container i will simply uh, click on this container so you, you will see that right now i am in bingcommerce.in container so it's super simple to use google tag manager